What's up, Block Fan? Welcome to the episode where we are going over the custom Harley Davidson iron that we built out and gave away for season five of the Blockhead bike build. Now we are in season six. If you guys are interested in signing up for that, go check it out at blockheadmoto.com. We're giving away a 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide, which we're building out into a performance bagger, as well as an incredibly rare 2005 Honda RC51 V Twin Super Sport. All right, let go. Normally I would sit here in the park and explain all the parts on this bike that we've built out, but there is a, a lawn crew going around, so there's lawn mowers, not really conducive for me talking and explaining things. So we're gonna cut to the garage. I'll go ahead and explain everything, all the parts that we used. Then we will come back here and we'll go for a ride. Cut to that. All right guys, in the garage. Bit more of a controlled environment, except for Zuko. Going over all the modifications to the Harley Davidson Iron 883 for season five that we gave away, which actually isn't an 883, it's a SNS 1200 hooligan. Before I get too far into listing out all of the modifications, I just want to give a special thanks to Revzilla. Revzilla was the title sponsor for season five, and they helped us find an absolute ton of parts for this bike from the engine kit they've got the air cleaner they've got pegs they've got the exhaust they've got the tuner that's on it led headlight anything and everything that you guys want for motorcycles they've got it all you guys be sure to go hit them up at revzilla.com i'll be sure to drop a link down in the description below as well also if you guys are interested in any of the parts from this build that we did i will be sure to drop all the links to parts down in the description for season six we're giving away two motorcycles at blockheadmoto.com we're giving away a 2021 harley davidson road glide which we are building out into a performance bagger and then we are also giving away a very rare 2005 honda rc51 which is a v-twin super sport beautiful and badass bike go over to blockheadmoto.com sign up select a tier and with signing up you also get access to our discord you get early access to episodes via email discounts on the shop and various other perks going through the harley davidson 1200 sns hooligan i've never really figured out a way to like just say all that together do we call it the harley davidson iron sns 1200 hooligan do we call it the hooligan iron I'm not really sure. You guys comment below. Let me know y'all's thoughts on what we should maybe like call it because I've struggled with it through the entire season. So whenever I bought this bike, there was a lot of modifications that were already done to it, which was awesome because it saved me a lot of time. Uh, I didn't have to do those modifications. It was basically done up kind of like how I would have done it anyways. Drag bars, mirrors flipped, had the chin spoiler, the Arlen Ness, uh, air cleaner, solo seat, tank lift, wire tuck, all that. 
And so it's like, whenever I bought it, I was like, cool, like a bunch of the stuff is already done to it so we can focus on performance. So I bought the bike used, but then I didn't have to like basically spend as much of our budget that we had for it in doing all the rest of the stuff so that I was able to focus that into the engine. So the engine being the SNS 1200 hooligan kit. So working away from the front to the back, I'll include everything as well that we didn't do, but that is done to the bike. Stock wheels and tires on it. We did relocate the indicators to the forks. We have the blacked out lenses on the indicators as well. We we have an LED in the front here, so we'll just power that up to show you guys. Incredibly bright, looks great. Also on the other side, we have the gauge relocation. So we relocated it from here. So normally it's like that one where it's mounted up, but if we kept that, the uh, gauge would basically be sticking up here and it would be the highest point on the bike. I always refer to that as like the unicorn horn once you go with bars like this. So we relocated that to the left side for all the naysayers. It really doesn't obstruct your view. Whenever you're riding it, you're pretty much like in this position here and you can see it just fine. I did go ahead and install a flush mount cap. So it is a push in, rotate and then vented cap. Like I said, link down in the description below. I have a absolute ton of you guys that usually ask me about these caps, which ones to get and you press and you turn and it is flush mount. Awesome cap, really cleans up the look of it a lot. We do have drag bars on the bike. Now these drag bars, they did come on the bike. I will drop a link down in the description below to drag bars that I usually use on my irons. These are a little wider than what I would prefer. The mirrors are flipped or inverted. They are the stock mirrors because a lot of you guys ask about that. So basically what you do is you take the mirror that is up over here on this side, which is really sticking up like that, and you bring it over here. So you thread it through the bottom and it's a free modification that keeps you from looking at your arms and your shoulders, which if you have, you know, wider shoulders, you end up looking at like your arms, you can't really see behind you, you gotta do the mirror lean. This solves that, basically flipping them over, inverting them. Really great free modification, highly recommend. Also keeps the profile of the bike low. Uh, we do have the Arlen Ness grips. So the Arlen Ness knurled grips with the black end caps. Oh, uh, side note, I put a fake tattoo <laughs> on my hand. I've been thinking about tattooing my hands. I wanted to uh, just have like kind of a trial run beforehand. And so I bought these fake tattoos off Amazon to see if I would like it. I think I do. So I think I'm gonna get my hands tattooed. Back to this. On the drag bars, we did use a Harley Davidson top clamp. So that is not a stock clamp. A stock clamp on this thing has the gauge built into it. Um, the forks are right wrapped in uh, just like a black wrap. That was done whenever I bought it. There are some little wrinkles in it, I would assume from the heat and whatnot, but uh, it actually looks good. I'm probably gonna do the same on my personal Sportster. We have a tank lift. With that tank lift, it gives you room to do a wire tuck. So you're able to take all that plastic that's normally here and uh, take it off and then clean up the wiring, bundle it all up, and then run the wires in that channel there. A lot of people don't like the fact that this is open. I'm a fan of it. I like the way it looks. If you guys look here, like this is just all the bundle of wires that normally goes underneath. That is all the plastic that you end up taking off of the bike. I'm a fan of that. For the engine, like I said, it is the 1200 SNS Hooligan kit. If you guys are interested in watching that install episode, I'll be sure to link down in the description below. Paired with that, we also have the two to one, two brothers racing shorty. And for the tuner, it is a Dynojet and it was tuned by Chris, sick wide glide, master level technician. It does have a complete stage four. We also do have the chin spoiler here, clutch cable, upgraded cable there. We also have Roland Sands air cleaner there. On the left side, we do have the uh, ignition and coil relocation, bracketry here, and then the ignition, the tumbler is basically here, and then the coil relocated there with some aftermarket plug wires. I don't know who the manufacturer of this was. Like I said, it was installed already, but usually I go through DK Customs to get mine. So they sell the same wires with the same bends and everything installed. We do have aftermarket pegs as well as shifter. Burley brand solo seat. This is diamond stitched. A lot of you guys ask me what seat this is. Fender, rear lighting, license plate bracket, good. I think that is pretty much everything. The big focus for this bike was the stage four, the SNS 1200 Hooligan, so. SNS there. The winner of this bike is Lloyd Mays, and I have contacted him, we have been in touch, and I've let him know that we are going to be filming a couple extra videos on this bike. After we're done filming the videos on it, we basically have uh, one left after this one, which is the face-off video. We're gonna be pitting the Iron 1200 SNS Hooligan versus 
the Yamaha Bolt, as well as the Indian Scout that we all built out for season five. After those episodes, I'm going to be shipping the bike to him. It has been gone through with a fine tooth comb, service done up on it. Like I said, by Chris, sick wide glide, master level technician. It's got a clean bill of health. It's pretty much ready to put it in a truck, ship up to him, ready to ride. I think that is everything for this bike. If I'm forgetting anything, I'll be sure to drop a link to it. If you guys have any questions on this bike, please be sure to drop your question down in the comments below and I will answer to the best of my knowledge. Let's get back to the ride portion and I'll show you guys what it's like on the road. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead, throw a leg over this thing and get going. Just before anybody in the comments section roasts me for being on a sidewalk with a motorcycle, I uh, know <laughs> the people that manage this park, they've pretty much told me to do whatever I want. They said if I want to take home one of the peacocks that I'm more than welcome to also. <laughs> Just really funny. There was one. Hi. So if you guys are looking for a very detailed review um, in terms of being like riding this thing and you know, how it accelerates and all that stuff, I did make a dedicated video for the uh, 1200 SNS Hooligan kit that we installed on it, but uh, we are going to be going over it lightly in this video. Well, the bike is quick. stock as an 883 so Harley Davidson Iron 883 you guys know this is a favorite of the channel uh, this is the same model bike that I started this channel with you know I've got my OG which we're working on which you guys will be seeing episodes soon on we're doing the hammer performance 1275 120 horsepower kit on we've basically done just all sorts of different stuff with the Harley Davidson Sportster I've got a lot of love for this bike definitely one of my favorites from Harley Davidson which a lot of y'all might disagree with, but a lot of people call this like the last true Harley Davidson. You know, it's like a Evo engine. It's a model that hasn't been changed in a long time. It's bare bones, very just stripped down, basic. I said in a previous video the bike the way it feels now the way with the acceleration and like the drag bars makes you feel really in touch with the bike it's uh really feels <laughs> or makes you want to ride like a hooligan which is very fitting because the 1200 kit from sns is called the sns 1200 hooligan kit all right first gear pull The exhaust on it sounds amazing. What's cool about it is it's actually really subtle. It's not like just overly loud and obnoxious. It sounds good. Now the seat on this thing being a solo seat, <laughs> uh, you are holding on to bars a pretty good amount whenever you're accelerating because it does want to kind of like throw you off the back of it, but eh, just, tuck in and hold on we did the dyno results and like we got a great like decent amount of horsepower out of this thing so just such a fun bike to ride and the, one of the reasons i wanted to build this bike out you know is because i wanted to see what like a, a big bore kit would do uh, i hadn't previously done a big bore kit on an iron even though i had a ton of requests for it from you guys and so i figured you know what like let's find an iron for a giveaway that's already kind of done up and lo and behold, I ended up finding one that was done up with a lot of the modifications that I would have done myself. And so we were basically able to focus on the performance aspect of it and put the stage four SNS 1200 hooligan kit on it, which just makes this thing so much fun to ride. So the winner, I hope you are stoked and excited to get this thing. I know you are, because you told me that whenever I called and told you that the bike is yours, you were shaking. <laughs> That's super cool, man. It's awesome to be able to, you know, like give back to the community like that. And I just like to give an extra big thanks to, you know, the Patreon community for coming together and now for the Blockhead community around the website, you know, people that are signed up there. Uh, big thanks to all of them for coming together as well. 
and allowing us to continue to like customize, build, you know, wrench on bikes, show you guys what, you know, we can do with them. Then whenever we're done to give them back to the community, it's such a rewarding feeling and, and we couldn't do it without you guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm greatly appreciative. So I just want y'all to know that, you know, thank you. It's uh, never something I thought I'd be doing, you know, it's like I've said it many times before. It's like, I, I never thought I'd be <laughs> customizing, you know, building and giving away motorcycles. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, before I wrap up the video, just once again, big thanks to Revzilla for being the sponsor of season five. Really appreciate it. They helped us find a lot of the parts uh, because, you know, parts are a little difficult to find right now. And so, you know, we couldn't have gotten near as far as we did without them. So you guys be sure to, you know, hit that like button for Revzilla post up down in the comments below. Yeah, we're going to be continuing to work with them. We've got a couple more projects that we're going to be working with Revzilla on. So stoked for those continued opportunities. And yeah, like I've said in the last couple of episodes, I really hope you guys don't sleep on signing up for season six. Uh, for season six, we did migrate over to our own website. So you guys can sign up at blockheadmotor.com. You go there, sign up, select a tier. It is now a per month thing oh damn this is an amazon hub that's badass i didn't know there was one out here with signing up for that you also get access to our discord which is basically like a big live chat room you get uh discounts on parts from the shop early access to videos and uh, various other perks if you guys have any questions on it as always drop them down below let me know one of the things i am seeing a lot is you guys asking for me to open it up to uh, the rest of the world instead of the 48 contiguous us I think for next season, for season seven, we're gonna be opening it up to Alaska and Hawaii. It has been the contiguous 48 US for a while. And so, uh, yeah, we're finally gonna be opening it up to those two states as well, so we can have all 50 US states. But as per emission regulations and all that stuff, it is incredibly difficult to uh, open it up worldwide. A lot of bureaucratic red tape and stuff that you have to be mindful of whenever you're shipping a bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it was insightful. Big thanks once again to the uh, people that support the Blockhead Bike Giveaway Series. Greatly appreciate you guys. Like I said, we couldn't do it without you. And if this one was insightful for you guys, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job. If anybody's out there looking for, you know, Harley Davidson iron content, customization stuff, it'll recommend the video to them. If you guys want to continue to see moto content, you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe out there, stay vigilant, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.